Hey YouTube, I decided I was going to make a quick little video to discuss this little thing called a flashing yellow arrow. Uh, now it's not serving right now because the side street is green, however you can see that there is a car sitting there waiting, which means that when it cycles over it's going to give them a protected movement, which means that's going to give them actually a green arrow once this guy is done. okay you're gonna get a green arrow here right now and so right now they've got their green arrow to go they're going ahead they're making their left turn right now okay and now it's gonna cancel out because they're no longer there and then it's gonna it's gonna serve this movement once these cars start going here take a look at that and I know you can't really see the tip of the arrow but I don't know if you can see the sign there. It says left turn yield on flashing yellow arrow. And what this is actually called is a protected permissive movement. So it allows for cars to have a protected movement when they have that left turn coming out of that left turn lane. But then after the protected movement, when the oncoming um, opposing through traffic comes through, um, it will uh, serve that flashing yellow arrow that will let them go on a permissive movement, which means when it's safe for them to make the left turn um, when there's a gap in traffic or there's no cars coming, um, then they can do so. It's sort of like when we used to have, um, uh, in the older days, we had protected permissives that had like a doghouse configuration is what we call it but they're actually um it's actually a five section signal head where there are two um two side by side on the bottom and then one red on the top um and uh we're no longer actually in in many places of the country those are coming down and these are going in um uh and the idea is basically that um you know this flashing yellow arrow uh, is a better indicator as to whether or not somebody can safely make a left turn um, you know but they they yield to this oncoming traffic um, another uh, another thing to think about is on these permissive movements there's an added safety feature um, for when if you think about over here there's a crosswalk and if a pedestrian is going on a normal uh, permissive movement when there are two green balls here um, on a normal permissive movement this will still get a walk and so um, you know you can have pedestrians in here and as people are making that permissive movement if they do not see a pedestrian here and they're just looking at the cars they'll yield to the vehicles but then uh, potentially can cause um, uh, you know for them to strike uh, a pedestrian if they don't um, accurately yield to the pedestrian um, and so what what uh, manufacturers have done now is that um, there is a feature that's called uh, it's called ped protect or pedestrian protect and what that does when you program this flashing yellow arrow as an overlap it asks you if you want to enable ped protect and what that does is when this flashing yellow arrow um, is flashing and then a pedestrian comes they push the button um, it'll typically it'll cycle uh, around before it serves the pedestrian but it will not serve the pedestrian movement at the same time as the flashing yellow arrow. So actually what it does is it'll cancel out that flashing yellow arrow until the pedestrian movement is served and that includes the walk as well as the don't walk or ped clearance um, interval. And then when the ped clearance interval is over and it goes uh, to the red hand then it'll pick up the rest of the time that this this movement is serving vehicles uh, back up on the flashing yellow and what that does is it just it just reduces the the, the potentiality of 
someone um, making that permissive movement accidentally striking a pedestrian, which, um, you know, sadly, on the older permissive movements where it's just two green balls and you can make a left turn, um, sadly, that, that actually happened, you know, um, a little bit too often. So, uh, in the future, I hope to actually um, show you how we set up a flashing yellow arrow, at least um, in my jurisdiction, the way that we do it. Um, there, there are more ways than one to, to actually accomplish the task. Um, but, you know, based upon our configuration, there's, there's a few things that you can do differently here and there, but for the most part, it's an overlap setup, um, and, uh, it actually requires a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra, um, programming in the MMU in order to make it work, so, uh, in the future, I hope to put together a video that shows in depth how a flashing yellow arrow is properly programmed. Uh, talk to you later. Uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell and, I don't know, do a little dance. Talk to you guys later.